Yeah. Gotta go. If you want me to drive you, we gotta go no, now. Dad, I'll walk. Personal chauffeur going once. It's okay. <laughs> Seriously, Dad, walking would have been fine. Breaking news, Spider-Man saves the day again. Spider-Man. This guy swings in once a day, zip zaps off Nancy. Oh, no. yeah, Accountability. Speed up, speed up. I know, you know these kids. Don't miles, man, you get arrested? Guys, don't cops run red lights? Well, yes, some do. But, uh, not your dad. In your universe, there's only one Spider-Man. But there is another universe. It looks and sounds like yours, but it's not. My name's Miles Morales. Hey, kid. You're like me. How? I knew my day would come around this time. I know it's complicated. Just hand it my soul and free my mind. You want to know what happened to you? I can teach you to be Spider-Man. Mm, I love this burger. So delicious. Mm, one of the best burgers I've ever had. You have money, right? I'm not very liquid right now. I think you're going to be a bad teacher. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. One thing I know for sure, don't do it like me. Do it like you. Brooklyn! I see the spark in you. It's amazing. Hands up! Whatever you choose to do with it, you'll be great. I love you, Miles. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> You gotta say I love you back. Dad, are you serious? I, I wanna, wanna hear it. it. You wanna hear me I say love it? You, Dad. You're dropping me I off out of school. Love you, Dad. Look at this place. Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. That's a copy. Time to swing, just like I taught you. When did you teach me that? I didn't. It's a little joke. The team building. Hey guys. Okay, who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. Come on. How many more spider people are there? Save us at Comic Con. What's coming? Let's go! Hi there, my name is Heath Hyatt. I'm excited to come to you today and talk about At The Movies. Today we're talking about Spider-Man Into The Spider-Verse. And we're looking at some great truths that we can find in this movie and from the Word of God. Now, in the movie Spider-Man Into The Spider-Verse, Miles Morales is a middle schooler, a middle school kid, and he's trying to find his way through life. He's finding it real difficult. It's a hard time fitting in at his school. And then one day he's bitten by a radioactive spider and he turns into Spider-Man. Now, the evil villain, Kingpin, has created a super collider. And this is a great weapon that's being used to bring the other spider heroes from different universes uh, to <laughs> Miles Morales and his universe. But it's also got a, a, a the, the Kingpin also wants to use it for a lot of harm. Now listen, with encouragement though, Spider-Man um, helps his friends and they help each other through some very difficult situations. And encouragement is what we want to talk about here today. I've got a verse I'd like to share with you from the Word of God out of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. All right, we're going to go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Let's read it here uh, together if we can. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are doing already. Encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. Isn't that a great verse? Isn't that a great verse in the Bible? See, what's it saying here? It's saying that we should be encouraging each other. And if there's a theme that runs through this entire Spider-Man movie, it's the theme of encouragement and how important it is to encourage each other. Now, we're going to look at the next clip here. We're going to see how Spider-Man, well, Miles Morales, uh, as, a, as a young boy, that as he goes into school and how he begins to try to figure out um, what life, life is really like as he's in school. So check this out. Theory is that all matter is composed of at least three fundamental particles: proton, electron, and proton. 
Who can solve this for XY? Yes, the light. In this class, it says, I'm like a silly. As a syllogism. Did expectations. Metric pressure. Your conclusion stressed. La fe se pronuncia como la cuenta. Other possibilities. There could be a universe where I am wearing red or wearing leather pants. <laughs> Mr. Morales, moving in the dark. You're late again. Einstein said time is relative, right? Maybe I'm not late. Maybe you guys are early. <laughs> Sorry, it was just so quiet. Would you like to keep standing there or? Do you want to sit down? Our universe is in fact one of many parallel universes happening at the exact same time. Thanks to everyone here at the Disc Family. I liked your joke. Really? It wasn't funny. That's why I laughed. But it was smart, so I liked it. I don't know. I don't think I've seen you before. Every choice that we make would create countless other possibilities. A zero? What? A few more of those, you'd probably have to kick me out of here, huh? Maybe I'm just not right for this school. If a person wearing a blindfold picked the answers on a true or false quiz at random, do you know what score they would get? 50%? That's right. Wait, wait. The only way to get all the answers wrong is to know which answers are right. You're trying to quit. And I'm not gonna let you. I'm assigning you a personal essay. Not about physics, but about you. And what kind of person you want to be. You know, in that clip, we saw how Miles was just trying to figure out how to get through school. And his teacher is trying to help him and realizes how smart Miles truly is. And she even says, you know, you could have been just guessing and you could have got a 50 out of this test. So you're trying to do bad. You know, this whole thing that Miles is struggling with, really, it's about who he is. And notice what this teacher here says to him. She asks him a question. And that question is, what kind of person do you want to be, Miles? And that's a good question for us to ask ourselves. What kind of person do you want to be? Miles was struggling, trying to figure out what kind of person he was going to be. And in the middle of all of those struggles, you know what he was trying to figure out? Well, what God had put inside of his heart. Now, when it comes to Miles and us, he needed a lot of encouragement, right? I mean, the teacher was encouraging him to apply himself. And we're going to see another video clip here of another Spider-Man who comes from another multiverse and he is in some need of some encouragement. This is Peter B. Parker, a uh, different Spider-Man than Miles, and he has had a pretty rough time. Check this out. I'm sorry, Mr. Parker. That thing you gave me, that key, I think I really messed it up. I want to do what you asked. I really do. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'm the guy. I can't do this without you. <gasps> hey, kid. Oh! What did I do to him? All right, people, let's do this one last time. My name is Peter B. Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive spider, and for the last 22 years, I thought I was the one and only Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. 
You see, I saved the city, fell in love, I got married, saved the city some more, maybe too much. My marriage got testy, made some dicey money choices. Don't invest in a spider-themed restaurant. Then like 15 years passed, blah, 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 super boring. I broke my back, a drone flew into my face. I buried Aunt May, my wife and I split up. But I handled it like a champion. Because you know what? No matter how many times I get hit, I always get back up. And I got a lot of time to reflect and work on myself. Did you know that seahorses that they mate for life? Could you imagine a seahorse seeing another seahorse and then making it work? She wanted kids and, and it scared me. I'm pretty sure I broke her heart. Flash forward, I'm in my apartment doing push-ups, doing ab crunches, getting strong. When this weird thing happened, and I gotta say, weird things happen to me a lot, but this was real weird. You see, I was in New York, but, but things were different. Also, I was dead and blonde. I was kind of perfect. It was like looking in a mirror. I have a feeling that the thing that brought me here was the thing that got him killed. You want to know what happened next? <laughs> me too. Ooh. Now that Peter Parker, that Spider-Man, had really been through some rough stuff. You know, he had not done what he thought it was going to happen. I mean, he went through a lot of painful things. And, it, you know, life didn't turn out the way he thought it was supposed to go. But he gets an opportunity to help out uh, Spider-Man again. And it's really important that, <laughs> that we uh, continue to realize the importance of encouragement. And so let's look at this next slide here if we could. We need to encourage each other to not give up. You and I need to be those that encourage other people to not give up. All through this movie, there are people that are uh, feel like giving up or want to give up. And they, they feel like, oh man, I just such a hard time. But the Spider-Mans help each other out. The Peter Parkers help each other out. And they begin to encourage each other all the way throughout uh, the movie. And listen, life has its ups and downs. There are going to be times when you're going to need encouragement. And there are going to be times when you need to give encouragement. There are going to be times when you're sad and things are hard. And you're going to need to get somebody uh, to have some good Christian friends around you. Somebody to speak some encouragement to you. And there's going to be times when we see other people that are going through difficult times. And we are going to need to speak some encouragement into their life as well. That is what God's calling us to do. Now, in this next clip we're going to look at, we're going to see how Miles Morales finally becomes the Spider-Man that he always could have been. Took you long enough. What's up, danger? What's up, danger? I see this, this spark. It's amazing. Whatever you choose to do with it, you'll be great. Our family doesn't run from things. You're the best of all of us, man. You're on your way. Keep going. When do I know I'm Spider-Man? Who won't? That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. Like, what's up, danger? Like, what's up, danger? Like, what's up, danger? Like, what's up, danger? 
made them myself. They fit perfectly. Miles' life has been changed forever. He's Spider-Man now, and he's ready to take on whatever villain is next. He got the encouragement that he needed from his friends, and he encouraged some other people along the way. And then since they encouraged each other, they're able to do all that crime fighting and be all that they could be. Now, we get to encourage a lot of people as well. We could take this message today and walk out of here after church and just start encouraging people, start encouraging our friends at school, start encouraging our family, telling other people they can do it, they can make it. There's a lot of people that are going through really hard times right now, and boy, would they love to have some encouragement in their life. So let's do that memory verse one more time, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. That is what God wants for us today, to encourage each other, just like we're doing, doing more of it, and continuing to just encourage each other over and over again. Now, let's spend a couple minutes here praying for all of us to be better encouragers. Lord, we ask right now that you help us to be people that encourage other people. Lord, there's a lot of people that are hurting right now. There's a lot of people that are discouraged right now. And we're asking for you to help us to be people that help other people in their time of need. Help us to be those that when we see someone sad, we encourage them. Help Lord uh, us that, Lord, when we need encouragement, that someone comes along and gives us that much-needed encouragement so we can do all the things you've called us to do. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I had a great time with you today. We look forward to seeing you next week at At The Movies.